this tutorial covers the definition of the materials. In uh, previous tutorials we saw how we can select the physics, how to start a program, how to define the geometry and now with the defined geometry we have to tell the program what materials are there. Is it just air or is it metal or is it glass or whatever. Okay, we start the program, select 2D, we say next, we go to radio frequency, select our physics, right click, add the electromagnetic waves, we say next, we select the frequency domain because we want to simulate electromagnetic waves and we say finish. Next step we define the geometry, we say we want to operate mostly with micrometers and we select the unit micrometers and then we define some global definitions so right click parameters and we want to define Next step is defining the geometry so we go on the geometry node we say right click we want to create a rectangle and um, if we say F2 or we say rename, we can give, the, give it a name. For example, we want to call it air. And the width should be width that we just defined and the height should be height. Okay, if we say build, this is our rectangle. And now we want to put it in the center. So we say minus width half or minus height half. Here actually, we could also say that the base is in the center and then we could say that x and y is zero but uh, now we say that the uh, base is in the corner and then we have to tell the program that x is minus width half minus height half okay so zero point is here and the other zero point is here that means this square our air which will be air is in the center now we will put uh, pieces of metal inside this air. So we right click on the geometry, rectangle, we say width is width half minus slit half. For the height we say it's 200 nanometers and it should be um, displaced width half on the x axis. So this is our metal piece. We can call it metal. And now we want to have another one on the right side. So we could do the same step or we could just move uh, this one or copy that one. So we say move. So we say keep input objects. We click on the thing that we want to move, right click it and then we say displacement should be just width half and let's say what happens. It goes here, we can zoom in to see if everything is right. And then we can zoom extends, zoom into the other side, and here we will see that uh, here is a little gap. So here actually we should say plus slit half. And if we build it, then this overlap is gone. And we have this in the center, I mean the gap is gone. In the center here we have another gap where the electromagnetic wave will go through. Okay, so this was uh, the geometry. And now we can define the materials. For the materials we go to the materials node, right click it and we say open material browser. And here we have different libraries. We have material library, built-in library and so on. In the built-in library the materials they have all the properties already. So this is quite good if you want to simulate something. If you select a material from the material library, it can happen that you have to fill in some values that are not saved in here. But we will see that. So let's say we want to put, um, we want to have the big square out of air. So we say look for air, and then here it will be if you go to built in, here we have air, or if you go to material library, then here we have also air. And um, how do we? select it, we just right click on it and say add material to model. And um, if you do this then all of the domains are already inserted as this material. So all of this one, all of our geometry is 
air now. But uh, we want to make this little slabs here out of metal. So we go again to materials, right click it, open material browser. And now we want to, um, we say search to uh, show all of the materials. Now we want to put aluminum or something. Um, for example, this. So we put this one in. And of course, also you can go to material browser over here. And um, now we will put in some material that's not built in, for example, this one, whatever that is, some iron alloy. Okay, now if we click on the materials, then we will see on the right side what is selected for these materials. For example, for air, all of these domains are selected. So all of that is air. But now we want to define the metal things to be so we want to have the metal out of aluminium so we click on aluminium and then we say this one right click should be aluminum okay and if we click now on this one on alumina we see that this is already part of it if we go on air now which was completely our whole geometry was air we will see that this one is not air anymore so the domain number two now in red is overridden because um, our alumina node here is below the air node and it can override what we'd have defined above. So if you define this one also, click on it, right click it, then in the air node we'll see both of these domains are overridden. That means these slabs are not air anymore. So now you see what uh, this overridden means. Now if we would go to, to this um, iron thing, and would click on this one and right click it then you see here a small triangle that means there is some, uh, something happened there if we click on it we see number two this domain in red is overridden by something that's below by this solid over here now let's take a look at our properties if we go on the air node and then we go down here then we see we have uh, the values for relative permeability permittivity, conductivity are already inserted and if we compare this to, to aluminum for example this is missing here so it tells us okay something is wrong we cannot do the simulation because these values are not inside so we have to go to Wikipedia or wherever to a textbook and look up these values and type them in here otherwise the simulation will not work and if we go to this one also for this material two are missing one is given so here you have to be really careful that you insert all the right values. Simplicity, we go to Material Browser, go to, go to Built-in Materials and we select this one, this aluminum. And as you can see, the values that are not inside aluminum here are given here. So we will delete this node and yes, delete it and for the aluminum We'll select this domain, right click, and this domain, right click. And you see, all these values are already given, so we can uh, perform the simulation. Okay, we'll delete this one because we don't need it. So delete it, yes, and we click on aluminum. You see, these both areas are from metal, and the rest is air. Okay, sometimes uh, you want to add some um, material properties that are not here, for example, the refractive index. If you add a glass, for example, this is really important. And then you could, for example, click on electromagnetic models and then refractive index. You right click it and you say add to material if this is important for your calculation. And then, of course, you need the value for, for the refractive index that you can put in here. 